like it or not, I'm back. Anyway, this is what has been spinning. And this, these pictures are from the LA Girls, excuse me, LA Color um, pastels. And then we have the Kara Nim, which is the black and silver. And I figured I'd just tell people what was going on while I was at this. So I've currently just been trying to keep up with my classes since I'm in the second to the last class before I'm done with my degree program. <sighs> it's scary. Keep breathing. Um, anyway, I thought I'd put this together and then a little bit towards the end here, there's my grandson with his one of his favorite toys and not and, and the glasses and the, yeah. And this is a new palette, the Da Vinci, um, excuse me, Delancey. Da Vinci is my edit program. Delancey um, reds. And then we get to the greens that's part of the um, She Glam stuff that I picked. This is where we start with the newer pieces of film. Um, I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Mini Lila, and that's the only Natasha Denona I have. I won this one from Debutante. Thank you, Debbie. Anyway, um, I love this thing. I, 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 I like the Den Natasha Denona um, formula, but this is the only one I've got. And they're a little expensive, so I'm waiting for some more of the minis to go on sale when I actually have the funds. That's the other problem. They like to go on sale on off weeks when I don't have the check yet. That's just not helpful. Anyway, yes, I'm painting my nails while I'm at it. Yes, it's black. It'll be okay. Anyway, yep, what I'm doing is, what I've been doing is getting ready to deal with more of the stuff for getting my last classes done. And this one, this one is on psychology, since I did a psychology minor of the two minors that I did. Yes, I did a double minor as opposed to a double major. And yes, my hands shake, so I'm sloppy with the nail polish. So I've got nail polish all over. I have to go back and clean it up after. But, yeah, I've been kind of putzing around, doing my research, doing my papers, all that kind of stuff, <laughs> hoping that my books will start selling so I can, you know, like, it's a little easier to pay for your cap and gown that way. That's a hint, guys. That's a hint. I'm also learning more about Da Vinci Resolve, which is the editing program that I'm using. They've got a really, really spiffy, and I mean spiffy, professional version, which, like, uses those big, um, fancy editing boards and stuff where they've got multiple track balls all over it and all kinds of sliders and buttons and I use the free one because the free one is A, free and 
B, it's much easier. You don't have to have all those multitudinous trackballs and fancy thousands of dollars worth of electronic equipment to even run the thing and all that stuff. Besides, I'm like doing little videos, not major screen productions. However, according to things that I've seen, there are major screen productions that use the free version of DaVinci because it's just that good to do some of their special effects in some scenes. They don't use them on everything. Anyhow, yes, I had a shot in there of me with my glasses on so that people can understand part of the reason I do really intense eye looks because you can't see it otherwise. And yes, I'm going to be trimming this video just a bit because from here down, my shirt is a mess. I spilled part of dinner and I didn't bother to put on a boosting halter this morning so there you go um, it's not attractive no no I've been going through and weeding out more and more palettes I picked up the one from She Glam that's the the Virgo and it's really pretty and I am surprised by the quality of the formula. Be that as it may, <laughs> mm. I've been messing with some other stuff like this is the Mayron Barrier Spray. It's a sealer fixative for your makeup. Now, this stuff is formulated to where you can put it over your moisturizers and, and sunscreen and all that to kind of set everything. And then once everything's on, you spray some more of it. And it's meant for professional use. So like keeping the sweat from taking the makeup off of actors. We'll see. We will see. Now, I loved this back when I was still dancing because a lot of times we were dancing outside and the sweat would just go. And between some of my issues that cause extra sweating and all that, even being inside in the winter is enough to make me sweat. So I'm going, okay, let me try this again. They've got it in at the Amazon now. So it's like, and this little bottle was 11 bucks. And I'm like, okay. So I picked it up. I'm going to try it again on this makeup as opposed to the stuff I was using when I was dancing. Because when I was dancing, the hubs still worked at the theatrical supply. And I was able to get the theatrical quality makeup. And I used a lot of Mayron. Yeah, back then with the Mayron, I was using the, the, the stick makeup. I was shade two in the winter and shade three during the summer. But I also used a lot of Ben Nye. That's because trying to find makeup with the golden, uh, yellow golden undertones in the skin was a pain 
in Tokus. Tokus. Yes. The back of my front. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. And hopefully, in a little bit, I'm going to keep this makeup on. And I'm going to go over to my storyteller stuff. And I'm going to read maybe either a poem or two. Or one of the short stories out of this book. Yes, I've got the hardbacks in. <laughs> real hardback books for real and it says A.P. Morrison right down here see that <laughs> and yes the editing is correct it's not little bitty patches on the page like I had the problem with the first run of paperbacks okay okay but I've got my hardbacks I, this is the second book, The Shifting Views. It's got the poetry and the short stories. The novella is still sitting over the shelf over there. But, yeah. I got it. I got it. That's me right there. Right there in that little picture. Actually, some of you may recognize this little picture. This is from Mardi Gras of 2019 from the video I did for that. <laughs> Who, me? Reuse old material? Watch me. Anyway, I've been learning to do voiceovers, which... My first attempt at doing voiceovers is the is in this video at the front end with just the pictures and I was trying to go off the cuff for the you know what was in what space and and yeah it's not the best but it was a first run and I didn't feel like fighting with it any further because it's taken me since the beginning of April to get all this together. Yes, every few days I'm using the spinner and using whatever comes up. This isn't even all of them, but it's the ones that actually look good enough that I'm willing to put them up. That, and there's a couple of them where I've got so much of my grandson in it that it would be my grandson's video. So, no. No. We don't need that much of the grand boy on the cotton picking video. Makes me nervous, you know. I trust y'all, but... There's a few people that might sneak in who are not on the subscription list who might be a little less trustworthy. So, there you go. Um, now, if I ever, and I do mean ever, at this point even managed to get to 500, I'm going to do a giveaway part of which will include a copy of one of the books. I don't know if it'll be the novel or if it'll be the short stories, more than likely the short stories, because there's it's likely that there will be more in there to find somebody's attention and appreciation than just the one novel because if the if the novella doesn't grab your attention in the first chapter or so you're not going to read it anyway with the short stories and poems you can kind of pick and choose there's also and no I'm not sponsored but I have discount coupons for every plate which is the food service we're using because it's, it literally is cheaper than shopping and we waste less food. We don't have tons of leftovers that get ignored. 
it's worth it. It works. And the portions help with our portion control for the diabetes. It's not a specific diabetic diet, but the portion control does make a difference. It's helped. Um, I'm going to put some of the gift certificates for that in and well it's it doesn't pay for the whole box it pays for half a box and you have to cover the shipping so we've got I think it's the most expensive regular setup which is five meals a week and five meals a week all of the groceries for it and everything plus the ten dollar shipping which is pretty close to what we pay when we go order a bunch of stuff from the grocery store for a tip for the driver because it's a it's a service it's not it's not the grocery store itself. Anyway, it's a contracted service and they want their tip. Tip averages anywhere from five bucks to ten bucks, depending on how much food you're getting. But the shipping's like ten bucks, five meals, just under sixty bucks. I'm good with it. I mean, think about how much you're spending to get food for, like, two weeks for the people who are on the usual two-week rotation for paychecks. If you're on a monthly paycheck like we are, Social Security, woohoo! Um... You know, you still have to set aside that much a week to go to the grocery store. And you can't guarantee what you're going to get or if they're going to have all the ingredients. If this box says that you've, that you've got these particular things to use for this meal, they're in there. That's the way it is. They put enough. You're going to have leftover garlic. Because they like throw a whole crown of garlic in and and tell you how many cloves to use so you end up with some leftovers so we like peel them off and dice them up and stick them in oil and put them in the refrigerator and occasionally we'll like roast them and then do that and it works yeah, we got some extra, but that's okay. Because even at five meals a week, that leaves us two days that we call fenders, where we do for ourselves. And if you make spaghetti, you can find things to do with that garlic. If you make garlic bread for whatever, you can find things to do with that garlic. Do you like garlic in your food at all? You'll find things to do with that garlic. <laughs> but the, the fresh vegetables are great. And there's just enough of them. The meat is really good. If they send you meat, it is excellent. Everything comes in these great freezer packs. You know, they've got cold packs and all that stuff. So... You know, it, it, it works out really well. So, you know, there'll be a book and some food coupon and I don't know what else. I mean, I've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff and I'm not going to give people used makeup for, the, for a giveaway. I don't know, I may like come up with a gift card or something to somewhere. Could be anywhere. 
I may do it as a generic gift card so you can spend it wherever. It doesn't have to be Sephora or Ulta or, you know, something specific like that. We'll see what happens. If I get to 500, that's another hint. Yes, I'm trying to keep up with my here, film this and get it up there. But like I said, I'm in my last two classes. My last class ends mid-August. After that, my schedule is going to change significantly, which means I'll have more time to do this kind of stuff. Hint, hint, hint. Anyway, I absolutely love doing makeup. I'm not going to quit anytime soon, regardless. I'll keep putting it up here regardless of how many people I either do or don't have on the other end of it. You're stuck with me. Go for it. Love me or leave me. Oh. Love me or leave me. Anyway, I'm going to read something out of this book. This is the very first poem in the book. I read some of the poems, I read two of the poems in another video. I can't remember if this one was one of them or not. And this one is called Deadly Dreams. By chance, on a sunny morning, a young child saw a most amazing thing. The thing seemed to be alive. It had wings, but it also had four legs. When the child tried to approach the thing, it flew away, making no sound, leaving no track. Every day, rain or shine, snow or wind, the child returned trying to see the thing again. Years came and went. Time doesn't wait, doesn't care. The child grew up, then grew old, but came every day. There was no learning, no relationships, no job. One day, sitting in that same spot, the old one died. The tale was retold of the child who grew old, seeking after a daydream by doing nothing. Not exactly what you would call a uplifting kind of story or poem but yeah you can daydream all you want if you're not doing something active to make it happen or make something in your life happen you can waste a lot of time looking for something that doesn't exist. Did he see it? We don't know. He says he saw it. Did he look any farther? No, he sat at that one spot and waited for it to come to him. Go out and make your dreams happen. Even if nobody else is actually watching, make your dreams your own. Make them happen. Don't just wait for them to show up and come get you. I'll be
be good. I still don't have any bail money. Bye.